this is Tracy from Navinia Stamps and thank you for joining me again for another demonstration today. We're going to be using our Yepo paper um, along with some of our alcohol inks from our new range, Pure. So we've got uh, Ocean Blue, Starline Grey and we're going to be using our Silver Thread which is our metallic. Okay, so starting with a little bit of the ocean blue. Now we don't need much colour. These are very very strong colours. They'll go a very long way. So we make sure we use plenty of blending solution and that will give us a really nice effect. So I'm just moving that around initially. and then we'll use our air dryer. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to use is the Starline Grey. So again, just pop a little down, just a real small amount, and then plenty of blending solution. And we're just going to go over the top of that working our way up the card and again going back to the air dryer and it just gives us this fantastic smoky effect okay so I'm going to go back to the blue and this time I'm going to add a little bit of silver so give that a good shake and to make sure that we mix that up well and pop some of that lovely silver and then again blending solution and I'm just going to bring that down and around the edge Okay, so I'm going to use the air dryer again. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see that lovely silver coming through. It's like a thread all the way round the edge there. And it just looks so effective. Okay, so back to the blue small amount and plenty of blending solution Go back to the grey, small amount, and we're going to add some of the silver again, and the blending solution. Just going to add the blending solution down here just to get rid of that sort of whiter area. And we've got a white area here. So again, I'm just using the blending solution just to fill in those that white area. And that's 
just giving us a really lovely background all those that sort of smoky sweepy effect so now I'm going to use Jolanda and I'm going to ink this up in the archival okay so the archival is far better to stamp onto the Yepo card and the reason I'm using the Jolanda stamp is because it's not silhouette it's more of a three-dimensional drawn image and this will stamp really well onto the Yepo if I was to stamp a silhouette it would be a little bit more tricky so that's why I always use more of a three-dimensional stamp remembering to use the archival as opposed to the uh, Versafine Versafine is great for detailed stamp onto other card but onto Yepo because the ink is an oil base it just takes forever to dry but the archival dries quite quickly so make sure that you've got that completely covered and then we're going to pop that down just give that a quick good press and take straight off and you can see that stamp perfectly fine over the top and I think that looks fabulous in amongst all the, the waves. Okay, so I'm going to just use one of our worded stamps. This was with our latest range as well. And it's just a really nice verse to go alongside the gel, the jellyfish. Okay, so just make sure that that's covered. And then I'm going to just pop that down. Like so. Okay. So I really don't think I need to do anything more to that. I think it looks really nice as it is with that silver thread just running through. I hope you can catch that under the camera there. Well thanks for watching guys. Thanks for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration using the Yepo and the alcohol inks and then uh, remembering to stamp with the archival onto the Yepo. Okay thanks for joining me guys, you take care, bye for now.